want to start off with a little story about a friend of mine uh, who I knew a long time ago, uh, a lady named Betty. And um, if I mention her again here throughout the message, I might accidentally refer to her as Old Betty, uh, just because that's, that's kind of what I called her in my mind, Old Betty. Now, Betty and I worked together during a time in my life when I was uh, the U.S. Bond Options Desk Manager at a clearing firm for the Board of Trade. And my job was to uh, receive orders from customers. And if, um, let's say, I'm here at my desk and the soundboard back there is the pit, um, I would flash in the order to the market. Uh, I'd flash in the order to the broker. I'd sell 25 at the market. And then that, would, and then that order would be filled with brokers uh, meeting with each other. Now, if they weren't in my sight line, I had to send out a runner to place the paper order. And Betty, old Betty, was the runner. And Betty was a little old lady with granny glasses and a um, you know, frizzy little perm. And she would grab the order and, you know, in this midst of a thousand people uh, cussing and placing orders and things, like high stakes at the Board of Trade. Little Betty would come, you know, tiptoeing through there out to the broker and, and place the order. Now, Betty was about 60-something years old. But Betty liked to talk a lot, and Betty told us that she was about 35 years old. But it was one of those deals where, although you're never to question the age of an older lady, uh, it was one of those deals where you kind of knew that she was in her 60s. You know, from her style and just from her demeanor. But she talked and she told us that she was about 35 years old. Betty loved to talk. One of her favorite phrases was, Can I get a witness? And that's today's uh, title for the message Can I get a witness? Now, when Betty used to say it, it used to sound something like this Can I get a witness? You guys want to hear that again? Can I get a witness? And when Betty said, can I get a witness, really, I, you know, she would say that if it was cold outside. It's cold outside today, can I get a witness? If she was hungry, if the food in the cafeteria was too expensive, can I get a witness? Now, where, where did she get that from? She got the phrase, can I get a witness, because Betty was a church-going lady, and in some African-American congregations, what people do when they stand up to give a testimony, when they stand up to give a spiritual insight, is they will say, can I get a witness? as a way of getting support from the congregation. And when she said, can I get a witness, the people said, amen. When she said, can I get a witness, the congregation said, amen. The word witness shows up in the scripture that we're looking at today. It's Proverbs chapter 14, verse 5. The scripture is, a truthful witness does not deceive, but a false witness pours out lies. 